Yo, y'all, this your boy, the Kiki Hero. So I'm talking about Iron Man 3 DVD. I know a lot of people have done reviews on the movie. A lot of people were disappointed. Some people liked it. Well, I was born in 87, so I'm not sure when the Mandarin was actually uh, what comic book appeared or anything. But I saw one of my comic books the other day. Pretty calm comic book with Spider-Man, Hulk, and um, Iron Man. And he looks like he's in his 30s or so. And it shows the different power rings. So I'm just going to... You know, this, my mom actually brought the DVD today. So thanks to my mom for buying the DVD. Not for me, but for the family. Yeah, just that Marvel still at the mark for a two-figure. I'm just uh, sorry about that. Just got it. Just about, even though the fact that he got rid of his arc reactor at the end of the movie and the Mandarin wasn't even real, he was an actor played by, and the, the real actor his name is in real life Ben Kingsley or something like that. And the fact that he wasn't really a villain, he was just a, like a, I guess a decoy, I guess a distraction. And the real bad guy was the actor Guy P Pierce or Pierce, whatever his name is. So the fact, the fact that the fact that when I saw the movie, I was like, oh, cool, a new part, Mark Fortz, that's cool how he was actually able to get the suit from, you know, how, I guess he, I guess he shoot himself with, I don't know, some, not DNA, but something that makes part of him suit. Now, that was cool if he would have done that in the uh, Iron, I mean, the Avengers movie. Well, I guess that was something, no, actually, it was something like that with that little bracelet thing. But yeah, that wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having the, something like that on me, that I'll have the Iron Patriots suit just come on and attach him. I actually wouldn't mind that. I would never be late to work and stuff like that. Which are never really late. Anyway, um, yeah. So today's Tuesday. Um, don't know the date right now at the moment. It's the uh twenty something. Yeah. Now I don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow because my phone takes forever. Three G Android hits for a little video to YouTube. But yeah, so if you guys are a huge Iron Man fan, then you're gonna be kind of disappointed in the movie. And even though I was thinking he could have got rid of the arc reactor in the first or the second movie, or in the first movie, he doesn't need an arc reactor to be Tony, you know, to be Iron Man, but Come on, what's Tony Stark without his Iron Man? Seriously. So, if you guys are buying it and you're going to be just, you already seen the movie, if you want it for your collection, go buy it. But if you don't really want the movie because you like the way it ended, and yeah, then don't buy it if you don't really want to. But yeah, so I just got it because it's Iron Man 3, the last one they're making. And I was doing some research online about Iron Man 4, a different actor. Now, I cannot see nobody else playing as Robert Downey Jr. Robert. Downey, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is the perfect actor for Tony Stark. Come on, everybody agrees with that. And this figure is actually pretty cool. Yeah, the head can look because I don't fucking know her head right now. Yeah, that comes off easily. If you had that two pack, the Marine Hill action figure, you could put that, or Sharon Carp put the head on there. But this one, maybe a little small, but that's alright. So yeah, this figure is actually pretty cool. It, has a, it doesn't have an ad crunch. No ankle pivot. Well, that, yeah, ankle pivot, double joint knees. I've already done this review on this figure. It's on my YouTube channel. So, this is actually a pretty decent figure. Gives some pretty decent poses, actually. Like, uh, crap, hold on. It's, it's not even there. And the, thing, the one thing that a lot of people know, too, I know is that he wasn't even able to fly. Not even until, like, the very end of the movie which is like a really major disappointment on my mirror the first one when he started like yeah i can fly and he's like well war machine is better than iron patriot and he asked me i like the war machine suit i really do i want to really get that disney store exclusive one when i get a chance because i'm getting me a new ipod next week 32 gig that's 300 dollars right there so and i'm taking care for my two dogs and my lizards so you know how it's when you have pets you're buying food for them and stuff like that taking to the vet so I gotta wait till after I get my new iPod Touch to buy things that I really want. So the movie, you know, I watched it, you know, I like the part where, like I say, the suit gets from one place to another attached to him. That was actually my favorite part. But I really if, wish they could have kept, I really wish he could have kept his arc reactor, because that's what makes Tony Stark cool. That's what Tony Stark cool with an arc reactor, you know. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna lie, if I had to get into an accident with my own weapon, I was almost killed, I had a middle chest thing, middle thing in the middle of my chest. Uh, like a magnetic thing or whatever. I'll be stressed at first, but then I have to get used to it. That's the way I live. You know, and I Mark 42 arc reactor. I mean, the arc reactor in there was a triangle and what has to be the best one. So, yeah, so and he blew up all his suits and. Oh, sorry about that. No, it's my dog barking here. Some outside. He's outside right now. But, yeah, so the fact that the movie, the way it ended was, ah, uh, especially with Mark Ruffalo or, you know, Bruce Banner in there. Because he said he's not that kind of doctor. But overall, the movie was good. I just didn't like the way it ended. I know a lot of you people didn't like the way it ended. 
So I hope you know this is me talking about the movie. So if you want to buy the movie, go buy it for a collection. You know, go rent it from the Redbox or something like that or Netflix if you want to see how it is. Um, yeah. So that's just pretty much my view on the Iron Man 3 movie. Like I said, no heck of people have done this, but I want to do it anyway. It ain't going to kill do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not sub to me, the Geeky Hero, please sub me. YouTube.com slash the Geeky Hero. That's T H E G E E K Y H E R O Hero. I'm just me, Geeky Hero. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And I hope you enjoyed this. Alright, peace, y'all.